Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the experiment 2, which is plotting and analyzing linear graph. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to develop skill in plotting and analyzing linear graph. The straight line graphs are very useful in data analysis for many physics experiments. From straight line equation, that is y equals to mx plus c, we can easily determine the gradient m of the graph and its y-intercept c on the vertical axis. Okay, now we go to the procedure how to draw a graph. Reminder, student must use pencil only. Do not use your ball pen. Step 1. Axis scale, label and title. Choose a suitable scale for axis, label the axis, and write the title. The scale should be in multiple at 10, 5, 2, or 1. Do not use odd multiples, for example like 3, 9. Label the scales of each axis with simple numbers. And in cases where the numbers are very large or very small, use scientific notation, for example 3.0 times 10 power of 5. Step number 2. Centroid point. Mark your centroid point with symbol X around with a circle when plotting the centroid. For example, like this. In the diagram shows that the centroid is plotted like this. Step number 3. Now come to the plotting graph. When plotting a straight line graph, the data points should be plotted using the symbol cross. Draw a best fit solid straight line. The line must pass through the centroid and as many data points as possible. The line does not necessarily pass through all the points. Step number 4. Determination of gradient. The gradient of the graph is determined by choosing two points x1, y1 here and x2, y2 here which lies on the line. Not choose the data point and could be read accurately. Draw a right angle triangle using these two points. Let's try one example. A physical pendulum which is made of a rod has its axis of oscillation at the distance h from its center of mass and the period of oscillation t is tabulated in table below. So we have the h and the t. So you have to complete this table. The period of oscillation is given as this equation t equals to 2 pi square root big H minus small h divided by g where the big H is a constant and g is the acceleration due to gravity. Now we want to find the t squared so you have to calculate the t squared first here. Okay, please copy the table and calculate for the t squared. Okay, now let's check your answer. So, this is the value for the t squared. 7.02, 6.45, 5.71, 4.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 
and our y intercept is 4 pi squared h over g. So this is the graph. So let's look at the video on how to plot. Now we are going to draw the graph. First, you take a piece of graph paper. Okay. First thing first, you have to draw the x-axis and y-axis. After that, you label the y-axis and the x-axis. In this question, the y-axis is t squared and the unit is s squared. For the x-axis, it is h and the unit is meter. Okay, after that, we choose the suitable scales. For this question, we are going to use X axis is 1 cm 0 0.100 meter and for the y axis 1 cm is 0 0.50 second squared. So now we write the scale. For the x axis it is 1 cm 0 0.100 so for the 2 cm right here Meaning two boxes. So I will label it 0 0.200 and then it has been multiple of 2 0 0.0 0 0.600 0 0.800 and for the y axis I will choose 1 cm is 0 0.50 second squared. So that means at this box, it is 1.00, Okay, after that, don't forget your title of the graph. So, your title of the graph is graph t squared against h. Okay? Okay, by referring your data up here, so we are going to plot the first data. So, this is the x axis. This is your y axis. So choose 0 0.2 up here and then t squared is 7.02. It should be right here. Okay and then continue with the next data 6.45 and 0 0.4. So this is your 0 0.4, 6.45 is up here. Okay Make sure you cross it with the symbol X. Okay, next. is somewhere you can check with your ruler okay so somewhere here 1.6 okay after that you are going to plot the centroid okay how you are going to get the centroid you have been calculate the centroid by take the average for the x-axis and the y-axis so in this Example, the centroid is 0 0.900 for the x-axis. So this is your x-bar. And for the y-axis, 
the average is 4.42 second squared so you plot the centroid point so it should be nearly here so this is 0 0.8 so this is 0 0.9 and the data is 4.42 so it's somewhere here okay then mark your centroid with the circle around it okay next you have to draw the best fit line so how to draw the best fit line so please make sure all the data can be plotted as many as possible so make sure you across the centroid point here so i think this is the best fit line okay so all the data is nearly to be plotted okay here it is now this is your straight line graph okay what's next the next one is calculating the gradient so how you are going to calculating the gradient so first you have to choose one coordinate at this point and another coordinate at this point okay so first you have to sketch the triangle okay don't choose your data points just choose any points that can be read correctly okay so i'm going to choose this point and this point okay now i'm going to draw a triangle okay this triangle triangle must be drawn in dotted line okay after that you label your coordinate so this is 0 0.3 0 0 this is 6.8 0 well, for this one it is 1.5 0 0 and 2.0 0, 0. Okay, then this is our centroid. You can just label your centroid point 0 0.900 meter and 4.42 seconds squared. Okay, just to make sure the size of this triangle is must be more than half of your graph. Okay, okay, here is the complete one. Make sure you don't forget. To write your name up here okay let's do the checklist first our title of the graph next both axes are labeled with correct unit so the y-axis is t squared and the unit is s squared okay and then your x-axis is h and the unit is meter correct after that for the data plotting make sure all the data plotted correctly according to your table of data next is your centroid so centroid must be plotted correctly with symbol cross and circle around it after that your triangle make sure your triangle is big enough the size must be greater than 50% of the x axis data range okay